St. Stephen Fish Lift. I'm going to be meeting up with freshwater fisheries biologist Bill Post, who's in charge of the Diadromus Fish Project. We're going to learn how different Diadromus species move from downriver to upriver to get to their spawning grounds. Well, Diadromus fish include a group of fishes that migrate between saltwater and freshwater for the purpose of reproduction. The species of diadromous fish that I'm responsible for are the anadromous fish, which include the American shad, the blueback herring, the Atlantic sturgeon, and the short-nosed sturgeon. The only catadromous fish that I'm responsible for is the American eel. The only way that they, they are going to be able to make it upstream is if there is some type of fish passage uh, facility installed. Fish passage facilities are, are such things as fish ladders. Uh, they can be fish locks, they can be fish lifts. Ladder is nothing more than it mimics a natural fishway or a natural stream. So you, you build it such that it has the same current and velocity that a natural stream has to entice the fish to actually use it, to enter it, but once the fish enters the fishway, then it navigates through a number of different riffle pools or um, different velocities of water in order to reach the, the exit, and that would be on the other side. As you can see, the dam here is, is uh, higher than, than any low head dam, so we have to, in this case, have the fish enter into a, a chamber, and they get locked in, and then we fill that chamber with water and a basket comes up underneath them as they come up through the chamber and then they're released on the top side. What we do during the spawning run is we conduct gill netting just like commercial anglers so we get an idea of what their catch is. We have to actually go out and sample their catch uh, as well and for aging purposes but we also will go out and uh, net for ourselves. The, the general workup consists of um, sexing them and getting a length on them and then tagging them. And the reason we tag them is in case a commercial angler happens to catch them and then we'll know what the exploitation rate is. If you're catching the adult, a lot of people like to, still like to eat them. Uh, they, they, the shad roe is a delicacy and uh, some people still eat the meat. Uh, if you're fishing for the young of the year, the, the small shad, they use that as bait for striped bass and some of the other fishes. The American eel, if they catch the young of the year, uh, they are usually caught here and then shipped overseas where they uh, raise them in aquaculture facilities uh, until they're larger ages uh, for consumption. Thanks to Bill Post, I had a great day here at the St. Stephen's Fish Lift learning about diadromous fish species. I hope that you guys will make a note to come out between mid-March and mid-April and visit the Fish Lift as well. And we will catch you guys next time.